Hey guys, um, 24th shave, I think, of austere August today. The Nasset is still going strong. Martin DeCondre Vetiver is still the soap. As well, we will continue using the Fatip open comb base plate in the special edition. And this is the Piccolo handle, Taj handled. Samoga Owners Club Boar Brush. It's been soaking for maybe 20 minutes now, so it's got a nice long soak in it today. If you have a young boar brush, that's that's kind of the technique I might use. Uh, instead of just using it normally, I mean, you can do that. That's probably this, one of the safest ways to go, to break it in and the way that keeps those tips from splitting erratically. It's just my theory. Um, it's probably held by others as well. Um, but there are definitely more aggressive means of, of break-in. But I do like uh, sometimes increasing that a little bit with a little bit of a soak beforehand. Um, sometimes just 15 minutes, sometimes an hour. In some cases, three hours. If it's a maybe an Omega that's being really tough to break in. I don't, I don't do any of that fridge soak for three days and, or the hair dryer method or any of those things. 344 grams, I believe, was the weight of the container and the soap. And there's the surface. I do not have an exact uh, 24 hours between shaves. I believe I actually shaved this morning in the wee hours, and then now we're in the, um, in the maybe I don't know nine o'clock something like that, um, a.m. and now we're at uh, whew, 1 30 a.m. the next day. Uh, we're going to continue with ten swirls, which is what we we've, we've been doing lately. Uh, I believe I showed you the Nasset wrapper there. We did. 325 shaves yesterday, and so today is 26. Show you the blade. Since I'm using the same equipment over and over, I don't do my usual thing of putting the blade back in the wrapper. There we go. Same little dots there. Uh, every time, just to kind of be a little signature. And as you can see, my, my base plate and blade, the, they don't get wiped or anything. These are just rinses. And so I think one of the things that characterize my shave is, is just these wet lathers. Just a rinse is really kind of all it takes in, in a lot of the time to keep things clean. And yeah, we uh, don't have to realign anything. It looks good. The post shave is just an unscented, menthol free, and that is integrity from Soap Commander. Keeping all that the same this month. Um, the focus of this month was to answer the question, does MDC, Martin de Condre soap, does it last a long time? Because it's a big tub, big jar that you get, and it's really expensive. It's also hard. So if it lasts a long time, how long does it last? And can we then do the math and figure out be able to compare it budget-wise with some more easier to obtain soaps. And I, I believe I've kind of answered that to some degree because it's just looking like a few dollars per month to own this soap, even at the high American prices where we have to have it shipped from France. It costs like $30 to have it shipped from France looking at a 60 or $70 cost, US dollars, to, to get a tub of this. And even at those prices, because it can last so long, it ends up to be just a few dollars a month. And so it is actually kind of a budget soap. Now, when you start to compare it to its peers, it starts to lose some ground because of the quality of the shave. Um, the lather is just not as slick. It can take hydration but then it just feels okay on the face, but there's just nothing to it when you feel it. The slickness just isn't quite there. 
Um, gets the job done, but that's about all I can say. And a limited scent, limited number of scents here. Good thing is equal, I'm sorry, essential oils. So if you do not like the fragrance oil type shaving soaps, then this might be a good one for you. It is vegan, so that's if that's important to you, that could be a big factor. So let us carry on. The blade is in place. Let me get my face wet. Get that beard start to soften. And let's do our 10 swirls. I was doing 12 swirls for a little while there. And I dropped it down to 11 because I just kept getting plenty of lather. So 10. That's 10. Not too much soap in there. A little bit of kind of liquid on the top there. If we turn it over, we might get a drop or two, it looks like. Guess not. Okay, let's mix up the lather. Yeah, immediately it gets airy and bubbly, and that's because. The soap was loaded on the tips, but the inside of the brush still contains some water, and so when pressed into the bowl, that brush kind of releases some of that water. So then it starts mixing with the soap, and immediately there's too much water per soap, and so it gets airy and bubbly right away. But as you can see, it doesn't take too much stirring before we're starting to lose the airy, bubbly nature and start to get something that looks more like a real lather. Let me tilt you down a little bit so it's easier for you to see the lather being built and easier for me not to have to hold it up quite so high. Lately, about one and a half, two, two and a half teaspoons is what I need to add to this depending on you know, I think the biggest variation is it just all depends on when, how often I shave. Am I the previous shave 24 hours? Well, things will be pretty consistent. If that remnant of water that you saw on the top of the soap, that's going to slowly over time absorb into the soap. If you shave like uh, in the morning one day, 10 a.m., 9 a.m., and then and then later on you're a night you're actually a night shaver, and then you you shave at 11 or midnight or something like that. That's not 24 hours at all, and so that that water is closer to the top of the soap, and it makes loading more effective, and so that 10 swirl load is actually loading as about as much as maybe a 13 swirl load, perhaps. At least that's the way it feels. Now, if you shave every, at the same time every day, then you're going to be expecting, I would guess, uh, you could expect more consistent results. I would sure would think that would be the case, right? Because we're talking about so few swirls. And when you get to that point where maybe nine swirls in or something like that, uh, eight swirls in, any swirl after that is just really picking up a lot of soap. And so each swirl can make a big uh, difference. Somebody talked to me online and uh, they viewed my den tour video. Uh, um, I think it was back in June. Lather's wow, looking good. Just 10 swirls. I saw the den tour video and, and so they said, why are you focusing on soap longevity of life when you've got so many soaps? And that's a valid question. Well, one of the biggest things is what I'm doing right now. If you overload, it means you also, to get the same hydration level as you might normally get, that means you have to keep adding water. I like a really wet lather. If I like dry lathers, then it wouldn't be a problem. I could go through a puck of sterling in three months. But I like wet lathers. So that means even if I load it like I hate it, like it is a popular expression, and I'll just have to keep adding more water to get it to where I want it to be. I want it to be slick, I want it to be um, 
creamy, heading toward hydration, heading towards slick and slickness, creamy, creamy, and right before it drops off and kind of loses its creaminess. That's where I want to stop, right before that point. As slick as you can get while still being creamy is my preferred point. And the good soaps will give me that. Mediocre soaps sometimes don't. I have to maybe run them a little drier. This is one of those that I have to run a little drier. So we've got... Plenty of lather here to do the job. Look at that, it's easily able to hold its own weight. See that precipice? So let's add half a teaspoon. So now we've got a total of two teaspoons in there. Maybe we'll shave with that and see. This is pretty dry. A lot of the soaps I normally use will not look like this right before I shave. This is holding its structure because it just, it really gets thin. And uh, lack of slickness, you add too much water. It, it works, but just not as good. All right, water on my face. You know, it's not a bad soap at all. It's something I've learned. I had a little higher view of it when I started this month. And that has reduced some as I've used it a lot. I just was really able to get a, a good sense of it. And it just doesn't quite hold a candle to some of the other soaps out there. a little too dry still. I think that feels a little better. Almost two and a half, yeah, pretty much two and a half teaspoons. Now we'll just spread the layer around and we'll go ahead and shave with this. Little tuggy, kind of as usual.
with this old blade. But that only happens in the first pass. The other passes will be pretty comfy. And yeah, why am I doing this? Why am I shaving with a blade that's just so old, so many uses? Just to be, just because I'm curious. How many uses can I get out of it? That's all. Rinse face. Load up some more. The second goal I had for this month was for the brush here. I only had about 10 uses on it and I just wanted to really put some more on it because this is one, this is, I want this to be for now at least my high use bore brush. The one that will let me speak to what bores will feel like at 100, 200, 300 uses. It'll take me a while to get there. I do have a what I call a borathon, which is a group of brushes that bore brushes that I'm all I'm raising them all up at the same rate. And they're at maybe 24 uses or something like that. And so it's gonna take a it's gonna take a long time to watch those guys grow. And I wanted one that I could really focus on and grow faster. So I chose the SOC Taj. So I want to try to get him some good uses this month. And by the end of the month he will get really close, if not surpass some of my Almost all of my bore brushes in terms of use count. Very nice. Let's rinse again. Oh, you know what? One of the things I was going to do before we ended the MDC time, which is just a week away, guys. The month is, since I don't like this soap all that much, com compared to so many other soaps right now take it back 10 years 20 years and i think this would have been a top soap perhaps but it just loses a little bit when you compare him to his peers so the month has kind of gone slow for me and I'm kind of surprised that now we're looking at just a week left. I really enjoyed working with Williams when I did it two years ago in August. Third pass now. Cross grain here on the cheeks. I like Williams because the scent is that citronella type scent. But after a few days, it just weakens down to a generic soapy scent. So that did have a very nostalgic type scent. But the performance of Williams. Guys, the slickness of Williams. It can compete with any soap out there. And I'm not kidding. Barrister and Man. Any of the top soaps out there. It really can in terms of slickness. Now you're not going to get a scent choice with Williams. And you're not, it's a soap. Much like this one, some people might consider it a little drying. But it, that's, it's just a soap. It's not made to have lotions and butters and things like that. But it's slickness. The creamy lathers I got from that soap. Man. Top notch. Can 
easily compete with $30 soaps, $25 soaps, and you know those. Let us put on a little lather right there. It looks like I've been leaving my face a little wet after the rinses, and so I haven't needed to add any more water. So uh, two and a half teaspoons looks like the right amount to give me the ratio I want today. Comfortable shave. full rinse and then we'll hit up the balm but before I forget what are we dealing with 10 swirls in this soap and I've got at least two lather two passes left of lather here probably three well 10 swirls How about that? and let's put on the balm soap commander The unscented balm might be a good way to go for some of you guys who like to wear colognes, EDCs, EDTs, and get an uns un uh, unscented balm like this. You get the moisturization aspects, and then you use the cologne to give you the scent. And so then this is a versatile thing where you don't have to have a balm in every scent that you like. So that's one way to go, right? It didn't take too much. And this will soak into my skin in a matter of minutes. And uh, protects pretty well. I've got oily skin, so I don't really need a lot of protection anyway. Alright, let's clean up my gear. Here's the brush after the stropping on the towel, drying off and stuff. One nice thing about the borders is that they're not as dense as some of those high density badgers. So that means that there's a little bit more flow through for the lather to move around and uh, for the air as well. So it dries, I think, a little better. Excellent. Uh, guys, one of the things I've been thinking about doing, and I mentioned this maybe yesterday, I forgot today I'm gonna try to take that same 10 second swirl and instead of going right to the bowl with it go right to the face with it see what happens problem is while wow, that water that initially kind of empties out into the bowl is going to just empty out onto my shirt uh, but maybe we'll learn something I could start it in the bowl until the water is absorbed and then move to the face. I could try that. Might be a good happy medium. And we'll just see kind of how much lather is left over at the end of the shave. You know, do I end up with six passes like I do when I use a bowl? That sort of thing. I got a feeling I won't. I got a feeling the third pass would be pretty skimpy. But, uh, you know, we could try that. Some variations. But we only have now, uh, we only have about a week's worth of shaves left. So I definitely want to keep going with the minimal swirl because my goal of figuring out the economy of this soap is, is going to be predicated on that. Now, that's also the reason I'm counting the passes that I get out of each because I can then take the number of shaves, divide by the number of passes, not the number of shaves, the amount, the weight that is different from the beginning to the end and divide out the number of passes and then I can use that math to know how long this soap will go for me. Alright, well, it's the wee hours of the morning. It's time to go to bed. You guys take care. This is Sugar Daddy Shaves and I hope there's been something in this video in this video to help you guys out. Take care. Good night.